Uh, admit, please tell me if you are hearing the video when I play it that on the chat. We're going to begin our drawing of a piston by creating a sketch on the YZ plane. Create sketch. We choose the white Z plane, and that is it. And then we pan down. I want to start again. Increase the density of the grid, and then take a line from here. And let, let, let that line be a construction line. And let the length of that line be 240. Just taking the dimension now from here to here is 240. Okay. So from this line, we're going to do a new set of lines. First of all, we begin from here, somewhere here. We go up. We come back towards, towards uh, some, some distance here. We go down a distance of about 50 and we come down here. Go up. That's a close path. Okay, so if we make apply the constraints, this is uh, horizontal vertical, and then let us say from here to here, undo. Let's say distance from here to here vertical. No, no. Undo the distance from here to here vertical is 7.5 and then if we make this bigger we want the distance from here to here to be 3 we want this length to be 5.5 and we want from here to here to be 20 and we want from here to here to be 24 to be 24 and then we want this uh, this length here to be. Let us make it forty to start with. And then this length here. We want this length to be. We want this vertical length, the vertical height, to be fifty. And then, so let's drop this, this dimension of delete this dimension and instead let this one be 45. Okay. So, the next thing we want to do 45, 50, 24, 20. The next thing we want to do is to expand this. Uh, let's uh, finish the sketch. Bring this down, pan down. Expand this place. And when we expanded this place, we want to draw some grooves. The first one is from here, like this, down and close. We have that. We do another one like that. Close it. 
then a third one so let us apply some dimensions now okay from here to here we want a distance of from here to here to be four units we want this length to be four units we want this length to be 2.5 we want from here to here to also be 2.5 and then from here to here also 2.5 and then from here to here we also want 2.5 and then from here to here we want 5 now we want this we want the, this one to be equal to this I want this one to be equal to this okay so we need to remove some unwanted lines don't need this one don't need this one and we don't need this one there's an undo there oh, we don't need this cut what I want to cut is this one okay so so with that, if I take off the dimension lines, so I can see the picture well. Mm -hmm. So this is what I want. The last thing I want to do <coughs> is to do a. Okay, I think that uh, I believe that shows the profile to do. Uh, the, like in the in the notes in the slides, I use the construction lines, but in actual doing it myself, I did not use construction lines. So it's up to you. You can do it, use any method you like, but it's a very simple drawing. Just dimension it, everything comes out in black, showing that it is fully defined. I'm going to begin 